Well, of course, the concerto keeps growing uh, in my mind. And in fact, my regret is that I don't have enough life to put into doing the concerto. Um, it's one of those pieces that seems to have so many sides to it and so many things to explore. Uh, I mean, I, it's one of those works that I could, I could happily spend a whole day practicing, you know, two or three pages of it and never come to the end of it. So it has that, uh, you know, and, and Beezer's music has that kind of quality to it that it just seems to be infinite. You know, you can just um, lose yourself in it completely. And so naturally, as, as time has gone on, I hope I've gotten a little bit, uh, you know, closer to getting to the, to the essence of the work. It's great having Bobby around, of course, to ask, uh, you know, about things. And, and we've gone over this solo part with a great deal of, of care. Uh, and to the point that even though there's a quite uh, sumptuous orchestra around the solo part, um, he'll, he'll, go, he'll listen to me play and say, you know, I don't like that G there. Take that G out or something. <laughs> and I said, well, that was probably you being nice to me, giving me an open string. He said, yeah, but I don't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't really belong there. So, you know, we just recently <laughs> took out uh, even just one note, you know, because he wanted to get things just so. And that's, you know, that's a real hallmark of his work.